Welcome to the GE Inspection Technology Site of Measurement and Control in Wunsdorf. We are here at our building producing X-ray inspection systems for electronics inspection as well as 3D computer tomography systems for materials research and industrial process control like failure analysis and 3D metrology. I for myself and a few of our colleagues will lead you today through our manufacturing site here in Wunsdorf. The Phoenix X-ray story began in 1999 in this double garage here. The company was founded here and the colleagues produced 100 X-ray inspection systems in this very small building and already after two years it had grown so much that they need to build a new production building and this was the factory we are now using in the Niels Bohrstraße about 500 meters far from here. My name is Viktor Uivari and I'm the site leader and supply chain leader in the Wunstorf site. The site has approximately 150 employees. Out of that, maybe half of the team is working directly in production. This is the main production hall where we are producing the X-ray testing equipment. We are also having an in-house service department and the office buildings for research and development and all the supporting functions in the same building. Hi, my name is Oliver Bunke. I'm the product manager of the CT product line of uh, GE Inspection Technologies in Radiography. I would like to show you how we perform a CT scan with our equipment. We are here in our application lab, to be more precise in our metrology lab, for doing also metrological examinations of parts. I will show you this on a typical die casting, let's say medium size or small die casting rather. And the first step is to put it in the machine. So this is the defined load position, so it's now in place, a defined position. We close the door of the X-ray system, so now when the door is closed, we can start the X-rays. I switch on the X-ray, and when the X-ray beam is stable, we will see an image of the detector with no part in the beam. Then I will move to the defined acquired position. The sample is moving to this position. And then here you see the sample is now moving to that acquisition position, which is defined so that we can do repeated scanning. And when it, then that is done, I can see if I have the right parameters, look at the contrast settings on the image. We have good penetration, so everything is defined. I can then just simply execute the scan by hitting the start CT scan. And then now the system is automatically performing all the necessary steps for acquiring the raw image data. That means it's taking typically several hundred of images, which takes between maybe two minutes and 30 minutes typically. And when that step is performed, we can reconstruct the three-dimensional volume. After the scan is completed, the volumetric data will be generated and pushed to the analysis software. So next part can be scanned afterwards. So this is our reconstruction interface. And we now, after that, then push it to the analysis software. And in this analysis software, we now, you can see, have a virtual representation of the part. So this is the virtual, is exactly of, of this part type. And we can immediately perform in this virtual part dimensions, measurements. So here you see uh, typical dimensions taken as specified in the drawing. We can do more. We can put a three-dimensional CAT model on top of the part and do a direct comparison of the real part or the 3D model of the part and the, the CAT model and see where it deviates. We can measure three-dimensional wall thickness of the part all in one data set with one package. And finally, as we are not just measuring the surface of the part, we can look at inclusions. That means for castings, typically, we look at air inclusion. Then this can be combined. So here in this drawing, there's a specification by the part designer how much porosities are allowed in a certain area. And we can look virtually again where how this porosity is, is in the part. So this is how it is in the raw cast. And we can do a virtual machining. So we can put the cut model of a machine part on top of the CT data set of the non-machine part and see what will happen during machining. And the red pores are those who will be cut, so they will be opened during the machining. And this can be critical for the part function. It can lead to a failure of the part. So we can do a virtual testing of machining. So typical customers for CT are, for instance, big automotive OEMs, so like Volkswagen, BMW, they need this 
to ensure when they create a new part that the part is according to their specification or they use it for failure analysis. So part comes back from the field and they want to understand why it failed. So they can look at the part without cutting it into pieces. Also suppliers, all the big suppliers of the uh, automotive OEMs use CT nowadays, foundries for improving the pasting process. So it's a very wide range of applications what can be covered. Also it is a very good R&D tool, so when you uh, develop new materials, new material compositions, you look at, uh, for, for instance, composites, this is an excellent tool to analyze the structure of the composites, to simulate how a part will react when it is loaded. Nowadays CT is, is an established tool in many companies for R&D purposes, for quality control purposes, and it is on its way to become an established tool also for production control purposes. In simple words, within GE measurement controls, I think CT fits very well to this mission or this vision to be a healthcare provider. Because on the one hand, you can analyze the part condition without destroying it when it, for instance, comes back from the field. Or you can optimize with CT the design of the part and the production process of the part to ensure a longer lifetime of the part. The major co components for a CT systems are the following. You need a high resolution X-ray source with a small, relatively small focal spot, but still a high X-ray power to be able to, on the one hand, get a good resolution, so see small defects. On the other, you want to be able to penetrate as much material as possible to be able to scan a big range of a wide range of parts. So that's the X-ray source, and this source is designed and manufactured at this site. So this is one of our key expertises here in Munstorf. The second major component is the X-ray detector. And this X-ray detector is a unique GE X-ray detector which we get from GE Healthcare and modify it according to uh, industrial applications. So we have made it uh, adapted it to the needs of industry compared to healthcare applications. And the last important part is the precise manipulator, so where you can manipulate the parts to the position where you need it to be. So this is, has to be in this configuration. You see it's a large stone. It's a, artificial granite, which we use for this kind of uses, uh, for this kind of systems, in order to ensure a long-term stability. In this room we are in here, we have very constant temperature conditions, really very constant temperature conditions, and this in combination with a very high precision allows us to reach very fine resolutions, very good definition of, of the features we want to detect. Here we are manufacturing the tubes and the generators themselves. We are purchasing most of the components like cabinets and raw material for tube assembly, but we are doing the system setup and the final touches of the systems. Thank you very much for your visit here at our Wunstorf site. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot about our very specific inspection technology. If you have any questions, just contact one of our team to explain more about what we are doing here. Thank you very much. Goodbye.